welcome back to the second part of this tutorial the customer just need to enter their name there let's just call that uh, maybe Isa okay and uh, alright then the telephone number we just make the update the system will generate the date and time so all I need to do is to enter how many bottles of white wine and uh, the other wine the other wine I just need to complete that if I click on total that is what happened now let's verify if our display is working here you can see the display just show the quantity of wine and so on I need to change this one I need to customize it so that it looks like it actually give the right information that's what I need to do now clear buttons work but it's not working for this so we need to play be able to play this as well so now we just need to verify if any of these inform the information here if it's saved into my into my area so let me open that and see and let's come in here and go straight into okay now let's click in on my java file there i order that is it right there okay that's the information okay so it actually saved it into my system i can always ask you to to just uh, to add and uh, delete but i'll just like i prefer it like this because uh, you'll be able to print it out so i just enter my clay in here so so let's come in here get the name of this very component is known as that's it right there text area copy and come straight into here yeah, and just paste it right there dot set and uh, just clear it and that's all copy that paste it right there okay yeah that's it done so that's how you clear the text area as well now the next thing is to customize the customize the text area properly so let's double click on the display i've been able to display how many items just two one and two and this is supposed to be the third one so what i'll do next is uh, let's make it look more professional so right here that'll be let's change that to number of white wine okay make that capital letter number Second one would be number of red wine. Just do it individually. Okay, maybe enter. Enter number. Number of red wine. Okay. Then the third one, that will be number order of one all right and I think I should add an head in there I don't have a name for this for my shop so let's enter something like online wine order systems okay that's the name and just put one of those add a clause there and take care of that all right okay that is taken care of we still need to take care of the calculation though so in here let's just say cost of order total cost of wine order okay total cost of wine order maybe let's just break this into two yeah why not so that you guys can see it yeah um break this down as well yeah 
then you bring this up uh, bring this up then break it okay let's break it from here and let's add this to that I guess you should be able to see it a little bit okay uh, just break that there okay now we have total cost of wine order the total cost of wine order will become this let's copy all of that let's copy everything in here uh, yeah that's right copy plus that and change this to four I need equals here right uh, I don't have to that's fine we have a tab do we have a tab here we have a tab here number of wine order here we have a tab okay let's save compile and run just to see if it's working as we want we can always modify it anyway so let's run it enter quantity there and here i need to change that to other one and just click on total now display we have our title there look at that and i'm going to need some space here and we need a tab so let's modify this thing but just before then let's use our calculator we can use this 4 multiplied by 7.90 okay you see that that's correct so let's check out our reset that works clear now we want this I want two of those to give me about yeah that's fine three three is fine let's tap this straight to this center that should do it take that as excess okay let's see how it looks now there should be another tab here take this off I just enter a tab one tab there and let's compile enter wine purchase there this guy must be an alcoholic now click on total the display okay too many tab take this down all right and maybe increase the font size of that as well okay just come in here now select this increase the font size font select property with the font there let's make that bold let's go for 14 and see that's fine let's complete this that's supposed to be order one other type of one okay now that's looking good okay there's one thing i was meant to have added i've completed this so let's i think i should add a reference number yeah reference number okay let's rearrange this and right here i will have my reference number so let's maybe copy one of these grab that and just drag it around there i can't do that i might as well just create one where is i can always use a label yeah why not use a label paste it right there change the name of the label to change that to j j ref number there now come to the property of that label delete that now bother style let me change the bother style so that I can see it I'm gonna make that maybe two 
plate that is my J label there right there okay and maybe increase the font size as well so that's all the reference number taken care of but let's add a label there for so but before that double click on total and right underneath here I will declare and paste the following are uh, the following lines of codes that is it there uh, let's change this the error there change that to all the reference that's that's that taken care of those are the lines of code for my for my reference so this will be reference or the reference number copy that and get a label right there yeah maybe copy this here yeah, copy this why not copy paste this in there Let's drag it along and change the name to all that reference number all the ref Okay. It in there. So if I run my program, let's save it, compile, and run. This is how the interface is looking now, and my other reference number in there. So let's see if the other reference number works. Decision time now okay you can see the reference that's the reference there but I just need to change the font size okay and change the back color maybe to white as well select that font size we made that 36 I think it's plain let's make yeah plain okay let's change it to bold yeah, why not yeah there now all right let's move this in a little bit okay save save compile i believe you guys will enjoy this very tutorial you should be able to develop something very similar so if i click on total there that's my other reference number right there and we can then display that's it okay and maybe we just need to tab maybe two more tab to separate this all right and this one we need to tab it back delete one tab here yeah let's just do that now double click on display we have two tabs there one tab here a tab here let's get rid of this tab Place this tab right in here and delete as follows. Delete. Yeah. Okay, we have one, two, maybe one tab. And that might do it for now. Now, the font size has a bit too small. Let's increase that to 24 and see what will happen. Then we take it from there. If it's good enough, then I'll just call it the end of the program. Go back. Get it sorted. Make that 18. Yeah, we change the font size to 18. Let's give it a try and see okay just to finalize this very program if I run it now and click on this oh reset sorry let's run it again total and display this is how it looks now the tab is now in order but I need to add the time 
date and reference number and then, then maybe a goodbye end of the second part of the tutorial